The drugs Ozempic for diabetes and Wagovi for weight loss have created a revolution in healthcare. At a Senate hearing today, Lars Jorgensen, the CEO of Novo Nordisk, the Danish company that makes the drugs, was grilled. Stop ripping us off. Senator Bernie Sanders pointing out that the list price for these drugs is much higher in the U.S. than in other countries. Look at the difference in Ozempic in Germany or Wagovi in Denmark. The outrageously high prices of these drugs could bankrupt Medicare and radically increase premiums to absolutely unaffordable rates. And that could mean people who need what may be life-saving drugs may not get them. Is this acceptable to you? Senator, any prospects of patients not getting access to the medicine they need, I think, is, uh, is terrifying. We don't decide the price for patients. Um, that's set by, by the, the insurance companies. I Jorgensen notice, argues the pricing system in the U.S. is have. mostly to blame, specifically pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, that wield enormous power over access to drugs and the prices patients pay according to a recent study by the FTC, which says these powerful middlemen may be profiting by inflating drug costs and squeezing Main Street pharmacies. We shouldn't let up on having Mr. Jorgensen and other CEOs here and pressing them, but we got to get serious about the PBM reform. Senator Sanders announcing three of the largest PBMs say they are willing to expand access to the drugs if the company lowered its prices. You sit in a room with us and work on an agreement? I'll be happy to, uh, as I said, do anything that helps patients. While some on the panel took note of the company's achievement. Novo Nordisk is not the villain in this story. They're a hero. We should be here celebrating this miracle innovation. The hearing ended without a commitment from Novo Nordisk to lower prices. Stephanie, joining me now, what could the results be if the PBMs and Novo Nordis do come to the table? Well, Lester, the largest PBM in the country is CVS Caremark, and they shared with NBC the letter they sent to Senator Sanders that assures a price drop would lead to expanded coverage and expanded access. Now the pressure is on Novo Nordisk to drop that price. All right, Stephanie, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.